Ubuntu 22.04 Jammy Jellyfish is released and it looks gorgeous. But there are some problems that cannot be overweighted by its beauty. Let's have a look at them in this Ubuntu 22.04 review. Before I start criticizing this release of Ubuntu, I would like to highlight some of the positive aspects. I do appreciate all the work that has been done by Canonical to release this version of Ubuntu. When you have a first look at Ubuntu Jammy Jellyfish, it is a breath of fresh air. There is a new Yaru theme, and I particularly like its dark version. Ubuntu 2204 is based mostly on GNOME 42. It has a new horizontal app launcher with a horizontal workspace feature. There is also a fine-tuned activities view. I have to emphasize that the software center is finally lightning fast. Navigation, searching for apps, installation, everything works very nice. After more than 10 years of observing the development of the Ubuntu Software Center, I can say it is finally as good as I would like it to be. Maybe I would like to have a little better indication of DEP and SNAP packages. Right now you get two entries for these two types of software delivery. I would prefer to have two installation buttons, one for SNAP and another one for the DEP package, but within the same app entry. I assume Canonical wants to transition to SNAP 100% eventually, so maybe it's okay to have these duplicates for now. There are many improvements in the settings app. New appearance, multitasking and power settings are probably the most prominent ones. I especially appreciate the possibility to switch between three different power modes. These modes are also available in the status menu for quick switch. Wayland is now the default and it works much better than in Ubuntu 2104. I used the NVIDIA Graphics 510 driver and I encountered zero issues with Wayland. Given this new driver and the new kernel 5.15, I have heard that Ubuntu should also perform much better in games. But I don't play games and I cannot confirm that. If you have tried games in Ubuntu 2204, please share your experience in the comments below. Now let's talk about the problems. Installation problem. I had a problem with installing Ubuntu 2104 in the EFI mode last year. I described this issue in my Ubuntu 2104 review. This problem still exists in Ubuntu 2204. In brief, Ubuntu refuses to boot from a USB if you simply write the ISO to a USB with a DD command, or with some popular apps such as Azure and even Ubuntu Startup Disk Creator. To install Ubuntu 2104, I wrote the ISO to my USB with the help of UNET uh, booting app. This time I tried to switch to the legacy mode in my BIOS and Ubuntu 2204 finally booted. I installed it without a bootloader because I have several Linux distros installed on this laptop, so I could use a Debian bootloader to boot it. It could be just an issue specific to my hardware, but I installed many other Linux distros on this laptop, that is MSI Prestige 15, and none of them had installation problems. Boot time. Ubuntu 2204 is noticeably slower in boot time. It takes 35 seconds to boot on my Intel Core i7 CPU with 16 gigs of RAM and SSD2 memory. Debian and KDE Neon that are also installed on this laptop boot within 15 seconds. Shutdown time is also quite long. Firefox is Snap. Little by little Ubuntu transitions all the app to Snap versions. This time it is Firefox. It is a Snap app in Ubuntu 2204 by default. And let me show you what the problem is. I have two Firefox versions installed on my Ubuntu 2204. This is a default Snap version of Firefox. This is the version I installed from the Mozilla website. But they are exactly the same 9901 versions. Let me open these two apps at the same time. Moreover, I will launch the Snap version first and then the other one. You see the difference? The snap version that I click first still opens later than the non-snap version. Firefox is the most frequently used app in my workflow, and I don't like that it is slower than it could be. 
Because Firefox Snap is like an isolated app, it is not fully integrated in the desktop. For example, you won't be able to install GNOME extensions through Firefox. There is no dev version included in the default repository. There is only a Snap version. To install a non-Snap version of Firefox that works faster, you need to follow these instructions on Mozilla website. I doubt a new user would do that. Overall problem with Snap apps. When I look at the Snap apps from a regular user perspective, I don't like them. Besides the Firefox issue that I have shown, there is a general trend that Snap apps do not work as well as their non-Snap counterparts. They have problems with inheriting the desktop theme. For example, I tried two versions of KDN Live in Ubuntu 22.04. You can see that this Snap version of KDN Live changes cursor, while the cursor in the regular KDN Live is inherited from the desktop theme. I have not tested the performance of these two KDN Live versions, but from my test in Ubuntu 21.04, Snap version was slower and even crashed. Also, surprisingly, KDN Live Snap version is older than the Debian version. For me, as an end user, having the latest KDN Live is essential because I edit all my videos in it. I really hope Snap App will become as good as regular dev versions, but for now, I try to avoid Snap packages. No minimize on dock click. I like that you can finally make Ubuntu to show applications from the current workspace only. But there is still no settings to enable minimize to dock on a click. When I click on any open app in the dock, it doesn't minimize. There is a workaround which I will show in my video on things to do after installing Ubuntu that will be released next week. So subscribe and activate the bell notification if you don't want to miss it. But I wish there was just a setting button to enable minimize to dock on a click. Cheese doesn't work. Well, it works, but incorrectly. This is a picture I get on the webcam of my MSI Prestige 15 laptop. Given that it crashed in Ubuntu 2104, and it doesn't crash in Ubuntu 2204, but has visual issues, I hope it will work in Ubuntu 2304 next year. GUVC view as an alternative works fine, however. Otherwise, Ubuntu 2204 has no problems with recognizing any of my hardware. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth mouse, Bluetooth headphones, NVIDIA graphics, printers, everything works as expected. Clipboard buffer issue. I was writing a script for this video in Ubuntu 22.04 and I noticed that clipboard buffer doesn't save the last copied text if you close Firefox. If I copy this text and close Firefox, then try to paste it in LibreOffice. It doesn't work. If I do the same in the terminal, the paste option is not even active. But it works fine if I keep Firefox open after I copy the text. This is an obvious bug. Files crashes. The last issue I experienced was that files, the file manager, has crashed several times. I don't even know why, because every time I receive this crash message, I was not even using files, it was open in the background and just crashed. I did not test files with a lot of workload like copying large files or many files, but casual browsing works fine. So if there is a bug, it is not crucial for the end user. Overall, Ubuntu 22.04 brings many attractive improvements and the problems I mentioned in this video are not devastating. But given that there are other Linux distros without these problems, I would not look at Ubuntu 22.04 as my daily driver. If you are an Ubuntu user, I recommend to wait at least 3 months before you upgrade so most of the bugs get fixed. What's your experience with Ubuntu 22.04? Leave a comment below.